The development of modern means of communication techniques in combination with the need to save time and money has led to the introduction of video conferencing in justice system. In East Malaysian states particularly, the need to travel from one location to another by lawyers or parties to attend court cases could be troublesome. To overcome these challenges, the High Court of Sabah and Sarawak had introduced the video conferencing system in 2007 as part of the e-court project developed by Science, the Sarawak state-owned company. After more than a decade of the system's excellence performance, which has led to savings of hundreds of millions of ringgit, the system is now enhanced with more advanced features to cater the needs of more users and to integrate it with new and emerging technologies. This is timely as the COVID-19 pandemic, which had hit the world in 2020, has induced anomic conditions impacting our daily routines. In coping with the new measures introduced by the judiciary such as online hearing, the laws have been amended to facilitate the use of remote communications technology in ensuring the continued access to justice by all stakeholders and members of the public. Introducing the new brand of Sabah and Sarawak Court's video conferencing system, or simply called VCOS. VCOS is part of the e Kahakiman Sabah and Sarawak project, approved and funded by the federal government in 2020 to upgrade the existing system used in Sabah and Sarawak Courts since 2007. One of the most distinctive features of VCOS is the integrated video conferencing system between courtrooms and prisons to allow more stable, conducive and efficient online hearings be conducted, especially during the time of pandemic. VCOS facilities are placed in 10 prison locations, namely Kota Kinabalu, Sandakan, Tawau, Labuan, Kuching, Sri Aman, Cebu, Bindulu, Miri and Limbang connecting virtually to more than 30 court locations in Sabah and Sarawak. Online criminal hearings between courtroom and prison are conducted mainly in case managements, remand applications and extension of remand proceedings and may be extended to other proceedings allowed under the law. The accused or prisoners will be brought into a designated room with VCOS facilities to get connected during hearing whilst judges, deputy public prosecutor and lawyers may conveniently appear online from their respective offices or from inside the courtroom. Other than criminal cases, VCOS facilities will be widely used for civil cases and the new system will permit interstate connections. The implementation of VCOS will certainly mitigate the impact of COVID-19 infections. In keeping up with the new normal and further improve its delivery system, the judiciary is committed in continuing its effort to leverage the use of technology with new initiatives aimed at empowering access to justice as it is a fundamental right of every individual in a democratic society.